Skip it up and that up. Now, this is some interesting news. Sony is considering, the keyword there is considering, I doubt it's going to come to fruition, releasing a high-performance PlayStation 4 model. Now, this information comes from Sony Computer Entertainment Senior Vice President, hope I don't screw up his name here, Masayasu Ito. Okay, so this isn't coming from some rumor mill or something off a of NeoGAF. This is coming right from Sony that they are considering it. Now, the reason that Sony is saying that this is a possibility is because the PlayStation 4 is based based on the x86 architecture. It's not some funky architecture like Cell. So doing improvements over time and improving the PlayStation 4 hardware would be much easier to do. Now, predictably, Masayasu Ito said that this may not be a good idea to actually implement because then it would split the PlayStation 4 consumer base. Duh. And that has been something that has been sacrilegious since the Sega CD 32X Sega Genesis days. You just don't do incremental upgrades to the same console. It's not the reason that people buy consoles. They don't want to plug a whole bunch of add-ons. They don't want to have upgraded hardware because then if you release a game, you got to release two versions of the game or you, know, you can only release the upgrade version of the game and then the people with the older hardware can't play the game. That's why it stopped. So I, I, I don't think that Sony is actually going to do this, I hope. Now, of course, there's always the exception to the rule. For example, like Nintendo released the new 3DS, which has beefier hardware than the old 3DS. And when games are released for the new 3DS, sometimes they don't work in their entirety on the old 3DS or they're not compatible at all because the game requires the beefier new 3DS hardware. I still scratch my head at why Nintendo actually chose to do this, but... They're Nintendo and they go by the beat of their own drum. So, yeah. Sony, all I could say is, I hope to God, I hope to God you were not stupid enough to make a high power PlayStation 4. Basically, you're making a, if you did this, I should say, excuse me, you would be making a PlayStation 4.5. That would be the worst thing you could possibly do because you would totally segregate the consumer base, because you'd have people with the old PlayStation 4 with less horsepower, then you have people with the new PlayStation 4 with more horsepower, and then you'd put devs in a tight spot, because then they would be wondering, oh shit, do we make this new game for the larger PlayStation 4 base that's already there, or do we make it for the new PlayStation 4, which has some more horsepower under the hood, or do we make the game for both the old PlayStation 4 and the new PlayStation 4, and then we have to make two versions of the game. It's a bad idea all the round. Hopefully, I'm hoping that maybe there was some kind of misinterpretation when they were talking to Masayusa Ito. Maybe he was just talking about maybe making an upgraded PS4 model that's 4K 60 hertz capable. So if people want to watch 4K Netflix, for example, they can. That would be a little more logical because now keep in mind what I'm saying is not making a 4K gaming capable PS4 where games be rendered in 4K. That, that would be a next gen system. But what I'm saying is if it could output the PlayStation 4 out of its HDMI output could output at 4K 60 hertz, which it can't do 4K at all right now, that would make a lot more sense. So if people want to use it as a streaming box to their 4K TVs, they could do that because that's kind of the PS4 and Xbox One's Achilles heel. They can't output at 4K 60 hertz. And there's like streaming boxes from Amazon and from NVIDIA, the NVIDIA Shield, which I reviewed, which can output at 4K 60 hertz. So that I could picture them doing as a quote unquote upgrade to the PS4. PS4, but to make it more capable and give it like a beefier graphics processor, mm, that would be a horrible idea. It's been done in the past before, and in most cases, it never works out well. Unless you're Nintendo and you're making a portable console, then you can get away with it because, well, Nintendo. All right, folks, this is Rich of Review Tech USA. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel. Have a good one.